Now listen up, pimpin'. If you ain't got girls everywhere you go, then you not pimpin', pimpin'. I'm just saying. Hey, step this your game right up, here. player. I got plenty hoes, got plenty hoes. I got plenty hoes, got plenty hoes. I got plenty hoes, got plenty hoes everywhere. I fucking go, I fucking go. Hey, yo, man, it's your boy, DJ Malone. I'm behind the camera. But right now, I got my man right here. Young Sight Time. Man, what's going on with you, Joe? What's happening with you, bro? Oh, man, nothing, man. It's, it's a pleasure, man, for, to even be gracious in your presence right now, man. We're, we're right here in the, where, where all the magic happens, huh? For sure, you already know. So, so Young Sight Time, man, tell us, man, how, how'd you get into this music industry, man? What, what made you want to do music? To be honest with you, man, you know, um, I used to draw, you know what I'm saying? That was like one of the main things, man, uh, I actually started off doing. Um, I actually branched off, man, after really seeing like the rappers that I actually look up to, um, you know, the way how, you know, they was flowing and things like that. So I really just picked up, you know, uh, the mic, you know, instead and, you know, just started doing my thing, man. Cool, cool, man. Hey, man, I, I be seeing your videos, man, they're dope as hell. You got a real dope concept as far as artistry goes. But how do you, what, 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 what made you come up with Young Side Time? What made you come up with that? <laughs> uh, man, I get that question all the time, man. Like, um, you know, like I say, man, a friend of mine, you know, rest his soul, man, he passed away um, a, a while back ago, man. And um, I was actually in elementary school, and um, everybody used to call me Shot. You know, like, I'm shot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, he added the town at the end of it. He was like, man, you know what? You know, I, I really see you, you know, having a name like Young, like Shy Town. I actually just added the Young on there. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you know, Shy Town, man. I think that'll, that'll fit well, man. So I am the originator. I am him, man. Young okay. Shy Town, Young Shy, whoever. However you might pronounce it, man, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, I see you supporting Trump Music USA. Now, is that your supporting, brand? Supporting. Yeah. Supporting. Well, well, you know, you know what I mean. You know, you, oh. it, 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 that's I, your baby. Hey, you, you see what he did, man? Hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta like my shit again. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you wild, man. Oh, man, but Trump Music USA, man, I am the CEO and founder. You know what I'm saying? I actually started Trump Music USA uh in 2012 you know what i'm saying on, on christmas man you know what i'm saying and um man to be honest with you you know i had a couple artists that was a part of tm usa you know hey, that's for sure you know what i'm saying for those who wonder like what what, the, what is a pound tm usa or tm usa that's basically short for, for trump music usa you know what i'm saying and um you know things didn't work out man that how i really expected to work out i wish it could have but hey you know, big ups to those artists, man. I hope they continue doing what they're doing. And um, they already know how I'm rocking, man. I'm I'm doing it, you hear me? So, yeah, most definitely, man. Yo, I, I really do feel that. Now, if you, I'm going to get real with you for a second. Now, if you, this is hit me out. Hit me out real quick. If you could perform anywhere, where would it be at and why? To be honest with you, man, the United Center. Okay. You know, everybody got those certain places where they like to perform at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, since it's, it's the crib, man, Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I love to do the United Center, man. Like that right there. Like New York got the gardens. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be crazy. You know what I'm saying? To actually, you know, be a part of the, you know, the super fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. You know, that, yeah. that'd be dope as hell, man. So that'll be dope, man. Okay, okay. Now, uh, do you have any other talents? Like, you know, I know people don't know about, you know, the graphic designs, the drawings. I mean, tell people, man, who you, what you really do, man. Because I want the people <laughs> to know about you, man. Hey, man, look. If, if you've been sleeping on me, man, it's time to wake up, man. Hopefully after this interview, y'all will understand what it really is. I'm not just an artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm a mixtape host, I'm a photographer, videographer, I'm an actor, comedian, um, promoter, goddammit, whatever. Only thing I don't do is make beats, man, but DJ Malone, man, he helped me out, he's showing me the ropes, man. So I'm gonna be on the production side as well, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to, you know, making them beats, man. Cause I got a good ear though, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I got a, I got a real good ear from you for, for beats, the production, you know what I'm saying? So 
I think that's going, you know, I'm going I'm going to shake the world for real, man, when I pop out with them with real. that with that sound, man, for real. Hey, I feel that, man. I feel that. Now, let's get busy real quick. Now, listen. If you could I guess well, let me, let me ask you this. You could collab with any artist. Any artist in the game, on the ground or mainstream, who would it be? Hmm. That's a good question. It's a couple artists, and I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it clear who they are. Uh, first and foremost, Lil Boosie. Okay. I, I love Lil Boosie. He's nope. one, he one of my favorite peoples. Now, Lil, that a childhood thing or what? yeah, childhood okay. thing. You know what I'm saying? And really, just man, just you know, following his whole movement, man, and what he stands for. Um. 50? 50 Cent, definitely. Um, let me see, who else? Uh, he a new artist, Fetty Wap. Okay. I'm rocking with Fetty Wap, man. He, he got some bangers. Um, let's go to the indie side of things. Um, Louis, King Louis. Okay. Um, Dreezy, Tank, um, who else, who else, who else, who else? Cause there's a lot of dope artists out here, so I'm really trying to, hmm. Um, you know what, who, who else I think that's really dope? Dope, 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 dope. It's hell. It's J. Cole. Oh, wow. I love J. Cole, man. Like, real, that's another dope artist, okay. man, for real. So, those artists, you know, I'm, I'm gonna name those for right now. Um, but those artists, most definitely, I would definitely love to get a chance to, you know, hopefully, you know, do a collab with, man, and work with. Okay. Now, I'm gonna twist it a little bit for you. <laughs> Producer wise, who would you work with? Producer wise. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, Peter Speaker Knocker, man. I wish I would have got a chance to work with Speaker Knocker. Mm. <sighs> That's it's still kind of crazy with that situation, man. But you know, R. I. P. to him. Um, 808. Okay. You know, I definitely love to work with them. Um, DJ Malone too, man. Hey, DJ Malone got some joints. Oh and man. And I need, I, I, I need in on it. So after this interview <laughs> done, we gonna talk about. Oh, some we things. gonna talk. Okay. We gonna talk about some okay. things. Okay. I need yeah. some joints, man. For real. Um, Zaytoven. I want some damn Zaytoven beats. Okay. So Zaytoven, if you watching this, bro, your boy Young Shatown, man. Hey, man, we need to talk. You hear me? And I um. Who else, man? Who else? That's that's really all for right now. I like how you were different because a lot of artists, when I talk to them, <laughs> they always go with Dre and Timberland. Not not to knock them, but it's like there's always a stand. And I like how you were different with the different yeah. sounds because Zay told me he got a different type of sound. Yeah, he do. It is crazy as well. He so no, no, you know, we both from Chicago. What do you feel that's the problem with Chicago nowadays with the music scene? Because it just seems like oh, it's segregated, shit. man. What do, what do you feel? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, for some odd reason, I knew you was going to hit on this question here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, a lot of people might agree with me after this. But some might. I just really think with the Chicago music scene, um, and I'm just going to say with the Chicago music scene, um, everybody here at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't support each other. Um, everybody wants support. They don't want to give support. Uh, everybody think that they bigger and better than the next person when really, you know, you're trying to crawl up that ladder. You know, um, it's, it's a lot of undercut shit that's go, that goes on in the Chicago music, music scene. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people out there, you know, that might be watching this, man, uh, wondering, you know, like why um, I haven't got bigger than where I am. And the reason why, and I'm, I'm gonna keep it real because I gotta keep it honest. Okay, keep it honest. Um, is that a lot of people feel that I'm a big threat. 
Okay? I'm be honest with y'all. I've been doing music. I've been on the Chicago music scene for 12 years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got serious about my own career three years ago. Um, in the midst of those, you know, years that I actually been doing music, you know, I came across a lot of food gang people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that said that they rock with me, they down with me 100%, they love what I do, this and that. But then on the other hand, you know, they trying to tarnish my name. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make me out to this certain character that I'm really not. You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I'm a real cool dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 100 with people that's 100 with me all the way. Even if you're not 100 with me, I still keep it one third with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just laid back, man. I don't, I don't be doing all that extra shit. I just do me. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people feel like a big threat because of all the doors that's actually been opening up for me and all the things that i actually been accomplished, you know, by me just being an indie artist. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, man, is, they, they want where I'm at. Even though I feel like I'm nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else, they look at me like, oh, Shante, what, bam. Every time I'm at, at, at a show or, you know, I'm out in the streets and things like that, people quit to run up to me. They want to take a picture. They want to feature from me. They want this and that. And that's good. I, I love it. I, I love every every bit of it. You know what I'm saying? People don't even understand, like, the, the grind and, uh, and, and how much shit that I actually go through and put in. You know what I'm saying? And I do all this shit on my own. I don't have no backing. <laughs> I don't have no, Real. you know what I'm saying? I don't have people throwing money and saying, okay, here's Chateau. You doing Eagle, this on this your own. You, you ain't got no label I'm doing all this shit behind me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And my brand, man, Trump Music USA. Okay. You feel me? That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody never done shit for Shot Town. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me make that sure. Only people that really done something for me, and I'm speaking to these two people because they 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 real to the heart, and I mean what I say. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real thorough dude, and that's DJ Malone, motherfucking Trap Jesus. It's really three, and Lunatic. Those is the only individuals that ever had my back, been there, all all that good shit. You know what I mean? So. Really? But besides that, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to the to investing and uh, all this other shit, you know, getting my name out there, I've done that myself. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. Well, let's go get on something like let, 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 Yeah, yeah. Because we're going too deep in our yeah, yeah, trying you to, heard. You know, we ain't trying to cause no harm to nobody. Let's get into something like, all right, let's get into some fun questions. So, the big question, mm -hmm. probably all the females want to know <laughs> right now. Are you locked down with somebody? Do you got a sword? Locked down. What is that? Locked down. <laughs> locked down. Are you tied the knot? Are you? Oh. You mono mono with somebody? Oh. Oh, that locked down. Unfortunately, no, nah, man. Uh, I've been single for three years. Okay. You know, three years, man. It's it's cool. You know. Are you? It was really bad choice. You know what I'm saying? Are yeah. you looking? I mean, if she come my way, what okay. she is, I want my fetish shit, baby, would you come my way? Okay, you know, I yeah, yeah, I yeah. agree. So, I mean, okay. if she come my way, man, then, you know, we can, we can go ahead and get it cracking. Okay, you know, real, real. Now, you ever seen the movie Top 5 with Chris Rock? Yeah. Now, what is your top five artists of all time? Oh, my God. E-40. Okay. I know some of y'all like E40. Yeah, E40. E40. Biggie, Tupac, AMG. Okay. AMG. Jay Z. Jay. Okay. You got a six, man? Do I got a six? Hmm. Do I got a six? Eminem. Real, I like that. Yeah. Those are some real heavy hitters yeah. like that, man. Hey, hey, yeah. I know a lot of y'all like, dang, you know, yeah, man, that's, you know, I'm different, man, so I got to keep it real. I'm not going to give y'all what everybody else give y'all, man. Yeah. So. I like that, though. Straight okay, uh, any projects you got coming out? Um, actually, man, I, I actually just dropped a mixtape actually hosted by me. Um. It's called Dope Classics. Uh, it's out right now on deadpiff.com. Just released it on 420. So, 
definitely go on deadpiff.com, type in your boy Young Shot Town, put in dope classics. You're going to see the first one and the second one. You know what I'm saying? Definitely go check those joints out. I got a, a mixtape joint that I'm actually putting together with DJ Malone. I definitely want y'all to check that out as well. Um, man, lost respect too, man. If y'all don't have my mixtape, I'm telling you now, please make sure, man, you go. Get it. And get that, I'm talking about for real, man. What so, can they get it at? On that oh, that piff, man, real okay. talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that piff, they've been rocking with me, man, 100%. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I'm definitely go on thatpiff.com. You know what I'm saying? Check check out that, man. That, that mixtape, man, I, I I did my thing, man. So, I'm working on three right now. Okay. Three will be dropping soon. Um, Man, I, you know me, I'm always doing something, so okay. you might never know, man. Just stay in tune with me. What do you hope to see yourself in the next three years, man? Oh, huh? The next three years, where you hope to see yourself? Hopefully alive. That's real. I'll be real, man. And that's real coming in. And you in the streets of Chicago, man, so that's just the real as it gets right there, man. Yeah. Um, two more questions, then we got to get the hell up out of here. Um, if you could give any advice to these upcoming artists or entrepreneurs or anybody who's stepping into the music game, what advice would that be? Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't be afraid, man, to, to, to just be different. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know, focus on what other people say about you or how they might betray you to be. You know what I'm saying? Only be who you know yourself to be, man, and just Go hard with it, man. Real talk, rather you're a rapper, model, singer, actor, graphic designer, DJ, um, whatever, man. You know, life shit, you know what I'm saying? Nine to fives, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just continue doing what you're doing, man. You know, forget what everybody else. Just, just fuck it, man. Real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight you up. Gotta you gotta hit it one more time? <laughs> oh man, I, I was about to. Though. <laughs> I was about to. All right. though, you feel me? All yeah. right, man. Well, um, give them the Facebook, Twitter, everything where they can find you at. All right, y'all. I'm gonna keep it simple. I always do. You can go to my website, youngshattown.com. Uh, you can actually find brand new music videos, uh, free download, uh, new music, everything, man. You can find my Twitter, my Twitter at I am Young Shattown. Just everything, Young Shot Town, man. So just get in tune with me, man. Real talk. Real, man. Right. Well, Young Shot Town, anything you want to say to your fans, supporters, and before we get the hell about it? Hey, man. I appreciate everybody, man. Uh, those, man, who watching has been supporting me for so, so many years. Um, the people that like, share, comment, um, even the ones who hate, man. You know, I, I salute y'all, too. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just continue, man, riding with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a real thorough artist, man, and, you know, I got a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a lot to say, man, so I salute DJ Malone, too, man, for actually doing this interview with oh, me. Yeah, man. Anytime, and I appreciate, bro. you know, everything that bro do for me, man, because he a real thorough dude, so y'all make sure, man, y'all y'all rock with bro, too. Okay. You know what I mean? So This has been another edition of the Hot Seat, man. Young Side Town. Yeah, yeah. We out. Yeah, yeah. Why? If I don't get an award off of this, fuck hip hop. I just wanna fly your way. I just wanna fly your way.